Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Uh, the weather is really nice today, uh, although it's not quite warm enough to be spring, but spring is just around the corner. By the time I put this up, it'll probably be spring or very close to spring anyway, but I'm just really inspired by like all the pinks and everything like that. And I do want to use my new Tartlet palette, which I'm really excited to use. So let's get into get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in so long, it feels so weird. Putting on my lovely headband. Okay, I've got this Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. I haven't used this one enough with same or different foundations to really know if it works that well. My lips are so dry. I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Tawny or 3W1. I hate that it doesn't have a pump or anything. Like, I hate these bottle things. I'm just using this Real Techniques, um, what's this one called? Buffing brush or something? Yep. I feel like I've just done heaps of uh, makeup tutorials lately and no, like, chit chat get ready with me videos, but I don't know. Do you guys even like these? I find that. I don't know, my tutorials are more popular, so I've just been calling everything that lately, but I haven't done one of these in ages. Today it's a Sunday, and um, yeah, I went to the gym this morning, cooked some food, and just been chilling at home. Don't want to go back to work tomorrow, whoever does. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender and bounce that over the top. Gives it, oh, I just poked myself in the eye. It just gives it a really nice finish. Okay, so I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to highlight with that underneath my eyes, down the nose, forehead, and chin. And take my Beauty Blender and blend that out, covering up my dark circles and highlighting those areas. And then for a little bit more coverage, I'm going in with my Naked Skin Concealer. I'm just going to pop a very small amount just on those bags there. Blend it out with my finger. Well, I'm not very chatty today, am I? I think because I just like talking my vlogs so much. If you didn't know, I have a vlog channel. <laughs> if you want to see what I get up to. I had a really interesting day today. So... I'll link the vlog at the end of this video so you can watch it. I had a bit of trouble with um, cooking eggs today. <laughs> a lot of trouble actually, to be honest. I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powders to set my face today. I've got the lightest color for underneath my eyes. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using Darkest Brown. There are new shades of these, but I haven't actually tried them. To be honest, like I've been really good like with that with not spending money lately and um, I set foot in Priceline for the first time in like a couple of months I think and I just bought one thing what was it? it was something that I want oh yeah it was the um the Maybelline the contour kit thingy and I wanted it in dark and that's all I picked up because it was on 50% off so I haven't even, I, like, I feel kind of bad because I haven't done a price line haul in so long. But I really haven't bought much, like, just little bits and pieces. It's only just starting to warm up here, like, not be as cold as not at night. We were having nights, like, below zero and stuff like that. And you can really notice now that it's not. And, like, the sun's shining. And, yeah, it's, it's been a really nice weekend. I'm going to spray some Fix Plus. Just had my brows threaded the other day, so they look really nice. I'm liking the shape that they are at the moment. I am just using my usual, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Blonde. I find whenever I don't use this, my brows turn out crap. This mirror is so dirty. Just using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is in the dark color. It's a little bit dark for me, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to use a NARS Laguna to bronze today. Just taking on my um, NARS Ita brush. I should actually buy a real one of these considering how much I use it. I 
And I'm just going to contour my nose as well. So I just found this Catrice blush. This is in Pinkabelle. Just a really pink blush. I've never used it before. I don't think I've used it before. I picked it up when I was in Croatia. Eww. That was too much. I'm going to use this Dior highlighter. I picked this up when I was in Sephora on our honeymoon and it was like my big splurge item. I've used it once. It's still like in its packaging and everything. This is what it looks like. So pretty. I love Sage Eyeshadow Base by Essence. I think mine is slowly running out. Hopefully I can find some when it runs out because some of you guys have said that they haven't been able to find it. I'm sure it's fine now. They've restocked in everywhere, but hopefully I can get my hands on it. I think I've still got glue on my lashes from yesterday. Okay, here we go. How exciting. It's so big. Never been used before. It's so pretty. Let me show that I take another pick. Oh, I just want to set that eyeshadow base. So here's the palette. It's annoying how the mirror like doesn't go past there, but anyway, I don't know what to do. Like there's too many colors. So I'm going to take Force of Nature first, which is this top one here. And my brush is probably actually dirty. So I'm going to pop that up there. It isn't actually this warm toned. My brush has just got heaps of stuff on it. It's not very professional crystal. Taking Natural Beauty next. I'm just going to focus that on like the outer V part here. This is probably going to be really similar to a look I did like not that long ago. But anyway, I'm going to pop some on the lower lash line. Then I'm going in with Best Friend, which is like this really pretty purpley, taupey kind of color. I'm using this E47 shade of crease brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer V. And bring it down on that lash line. Taking free spirit all over the lid and just feeling like in between that area there. And then I'll blend them in. And I'll use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take this bombshell color here, which is like a deep plum kind of color. I'm just going to run it really close to the lash line. And then flick it up. And just on the outer edge. Blend it into what's already there. I'm going to use some of this So Glow highlighter from Essence on my inner corner. That's a bit random, but... I'm using this Essence white eyeliner to line my waterline. Monaco Lash and Line Mascara. I really, really love this mascara. It's like my favorite. It's not like my favorite, it is my favorite. Apart from getting it everywhere, which I don't usually do. It's only because I'm nervous because I'm putting on mascara in front of you guys. You don't even need to wear falsies with this. Like it's honestly so amazing. And that's just like spending a little time on it. A little bit of time. 
I'm actually using this Esquido glue. This is their companion long lasting bond. I used it for the first time yesterday and it's actually really, really good. So it just comes on a stick like that. It didn't hurt my eyes at all and my lashes stayed on all day. I know this one's a limited edition, but I think that there's one exactly like this. They just made it permanent. This is the metallic eyeshadow in bronze on say by Australis. I'm gonna take some over the top of that. I just wanted a little bit something else. I'm using this MAC Naked Lip Liner today. So just tracing the lips and filling them in. And just leave them like that. Uh, it's a really nice fresh spring look. I'm kidding. I'm going in with the Face of Australia Champagne What's this called? Face of Australia lipstick called Pink Champagne. And it seems to have gone a little bit funny. How is it that I just did a lip scrub and my lips look like this? I swear drugstore lipsticks are just no good for my lips lately. They just make everything look terrible. I just did a lip scrub too and my lips look like crap. Okay, I've got this Wet n Wild lipstick in Think Pink. It's not exactly what I was going for. You win some, you lose some. I'd like to make it a little bit more dark. Although this is quite springy, isn't it? Let me just do my hair and I shall be right back. Okay, real sorry, but I'm going to change my lipstick because I'm just not happy with that. <laughs> For a third time. I'm going in with MAC Love Lawn. Mm. Now my lips are too dark. Hold on. Oh, so much better. It's not too like in your face, but it's still a really nice pink. And I think the more you reapply it, the more pink it kind of gets. I guess I've given you two kind of three different color options for lips. So that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> that is the end of my chit chat, get ready with me. I don't know if I chatted enough, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know that you like these types of videos and it will really help me out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. This egg stuff. You guys are gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> I just learned something. Didn't know this before. Um...